All right. Well, once again, I made a video and forgot something. So let me key this in. I think I'm going to have to raise it up a little bit, get everything in. Um, How's everybody doing? Um, I made a post. Uh, Donald Trump is 666. So let's go over exactly. Let's let's click the um, let's click the photos and get more into that. Let me make sure I'm in focus. Donald Trump or Don Trump. Trump's name was changed to Trump, which was a German name. And we research it and we find it's true. I had heard that, that that's actually where the word Smurf came from, which was in the movie Donnie Darko. There was a locker room. Remember they said Trump, when he said, grab him by the, the P word, they, they called it locker room talk. Well, in the movie Donnie Darko, they had a segment on that where they started talking really vulgar. And Donald Trump was, you know, at a, got his education at a Jesuit university in Donnie Darko. By the way, they were using the P word in that Donnie Darko scene, which stands for a segment on that where they started talking really vulgar. And Donald Trump was, you know, at a... Got his education at a Jesuit university. I don't know why Donnie Darko, right which stands for Donald Darkness. He Sorry. was at a Jesuit high school. I can't stop the blinking. And um, Trump means 88. And when you get to the Back to the Future, 88 miles per hour. And the license tag on the car that was in the time travel said out of time. When Trump comes into power, we're out of time. We're in the last days. Yep. And... Um, But in the movie Donnie Darko, when he went up to his medicine cabinet, it focused on the medicine um, bottle he was grabbing, and it said Donald. Eighty-eight. I can send y'all all these. Said, all of these videos Donald, are on YouTube. And right below it, it said nineteen eighty-eight. That's when the movie was supposedly taking place, of course. Let me rewind that footage since I talked over it. When he went up to his medicine cabinet, it focused on the medicine um, bottle he was grabbing, and it said Donald. 88 because it said Donald and right below it said 1988 that's when the movie was supposedly taking place of course everything is a coincidence right folks yeah so by saying Donald 88 that was saying Donald Trump because Trump is 88 in Gematria. Gematria is has been around as long as the Bible mankind it's various ways. It's there's Jewish gematria, English gematria, and simple gematria. And in Jewish gematria, Donald Trump and Mike Pence come up to six six six. You know what the chances are of that, folks? In English gematria, again now that's Trump. It was Donald Trump and Mike Pence because that was Trump's original name. So. Everything's cryptic. The number of the man, 666, isn't just super, is going to be super obvious to everybody. Donald, Don Drumpf is 666. You know what the chances of that are. In the, in the billions, if not upper millions. I went and, of course, Snoops or Snopes, whatever it's called, actually confirmed it. And I don't trust them as far as you can throw them. I don't trust anything, as y'all know, because they own and run everything. Remember, Satan offered Jesus the kingdoms of the world. He's always ran the kingdoms. Everything you're seeing on TV right now is theater. And I've always told you, the world is a stage. 
Everything is theaterized. It's, it's a Hollywood production. They actually said, mostly true, the surname of Donald Trump's family was originally Drumpf. Donald Trump's name was never changed. Well, excuse me, Donald Trump's name was never Donald Trump. Well, it in is. reality, it is. <laughs> Here is wisdom. Let him have understanding. Count the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man. And this number is 600, three score, and six. Donald Trump. Or 666. Wisdom is needed here. So, is what that verse says in that New Living Translation. That's where we're at with that, and I go down. Facebook post I made. To the comments. Uh oh. And I explained that Trump Tower. You know what I've noticed? I didn't click see more. So glad I'm doing an edit. Glad I'm doing an edit. This new Facebook is crazy. Then click see more. Trump Tower has five multiple addresses that perfectly match the Little Horn of Daniel 7 passage, 721 through 725. Those with understanding know the Little Horn of Daniel 7 is the Antichrist, yes. He is the rider of the white horse who receives a crown at Revelation 6-2. Corona means crown again. I was uh, losing my brain discovering all this, so amongst many other things, this is a ritual event talking about the crowning event that's all over your TV. Uh, there's the picture that I took, snapshot, from when I Googled it. Um, skyscraper 721 through 725 on Fifth Avenue. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let's go back, refocus. And I did not show y'all reason why I wanted to re-edit, because we can do it now, is I didn't show you Mike Pence. I forgot. I got on here and, of course, my ADHD and all of that went to a lot of other stuff. But there's the, the third temple. The Antichrist has declares himself to be God in the holy place. They're, they're, that's Mike Pence right there, second from the, from the left, overlooking the building of the third temple that they're building in the Antichrist declares himself to be God. See, there's these the Jewish folks there, yeah. The Antichrist declares himself to be God um, in the holy place. Um, and I didn't go over those Bible verses. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or is worshipped, so that he sitteth in the temple of God. Well, in this edit, as we keep going, we show you that Trump's... I just showed you that they're looking at building that temple. That, build, that temple can be built very quickly, by the way, and of course Trump is a builder. None of this is by mistake. You know, Jesus came from what? A carpenter? The Antichrist, his dad was what? A carpenter? A builder? Construction? showing himself that he is God. Trump's mother's name was Mary, just like Jesus' name was Mary, mom's name was Mary. Uh, Donald Trump's dad was named Fred Christ Trump. You can Google that. So he is going to be sitting in that temple and he will declare himself to be God once everybody is under total control. And at that point, all you know what's gonna break loose in this world. And it'll be Mark of the Beast time or die time. 
So let's keep going. Let's file multiple addresses that perfectly match the little horn of Daniel 7 passage. I forgot to give you more. That's what. Trump Tower has five multiple addresses. As a coincidence, once again, everything's a coincidence when you defend him. Sorry to be sarcastic. And if, the, if, if you're defending him or saying this is crazy, the Lord mm -hmm. is not giving you eyes to see and ears to hear. That comes from the Lord. So, remember, most of the world cannot understand. That's written in the Bible. Jesus also said, I come in my Father's name and ye receive me not. But if another shall come in his own name, of course it says if, why? Because <laughs> it happens. So if one shall come in his own name, him you will receive, and he is here in his own name. Horn is a trump. Remember the Bible verse, at the last trump, that meant at, at the last trumpet, which meant at the last horn. He's here in his own name. He's the little horn of Daniel 7. As a trump is a horn, is a trump, is a trumpet, is a horn. And he's received by 99% of today's so-called Christian community and Israel. You know he's on a coin there. Uh, which, of course, we no longer have anything to do with that land. Israel in the New Testament is simply the church. And the church is simply Israel. We are grafted in Jews. His real church is called Jews. It's not a church you go into. It's not a man-made religion. I'm not Calvinist, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, nothing. I like to think and hope I'm a member of the way, as they called it in the book of Acts. I know that thy works, and you know Trump's on a coin there, and they're changing the goal on heights to Trump heights. I proved that in my last video. I just want to say something. All the churches, you know, where, you know, you go and you celebrate the Christ Mass, you know, the Christmas pagan holiday, and you take that tree and you stick it in your house, which is tree worship, goddess worship. You just don't know it. Some do. <laughs> One guy I know pretty well, he keeps the tree up year-round in his office. <laughs> um, because, you know, he's... Anyway, I love the guy. It's just... Uh, I don't love him in the spiritual sense, obviously, but in a worldly sense, uh, he's great. And uh, we get along great, and I'm always hoping. I've always kept the relationship good because I'm always hoping the Lord will call him. Like, maybe that's why we met. But um, the uh, your churches have always told you you need to defend Israel. That America is God's country because we back or defend Israel. No. No, there's plenty of Bible verses that explain that's no longer true. And they go about they go to Genesis and they quote that. And then there's other Bible verses that actually tell you, no, it is it is about a seed, and that was about Jesus. That Bible verse ended up being about Jesus. And only Jesus comes back and restores uh, Israel. Not Donald Trump. <laughs> but he's going to pretend to, which is part of the Antichrist deception. So, but yeah, we, our country's been sending billions and it's been causing all this strife, and yeah, it's all whatever. Um, Golan Heights to Trump Heights. He's making Israel great again, as you can see. Pause it, screenshot it, enlarge it. Do whatever you got to do. So, Revelation 11.8, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Sarcasm. The end times great city which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Remember I've shown you already there's a pyramid with an all-seeing eye on top of the Israeli Supreme Court. Yes, so it's already Egypt, and it's already Sodom also. Very liberal over there in Tel Aviv, as liberal as San Francisco is here. 
So when you go to the passage, and then there's also the um, remember I told you this church is we're grafted in Jews, we are true Jews. I know that works in the tribulation of the poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them that say that they are Jews and are not, but they are at the synagogue of Satan. And like I told you, he's on a coin over there already. Donald Trump on a coin in Israel. There it is. It's making Israel great again. There's the temple coin. They're building the third temple. I've already shown you that with Mike Pompeo. portrait Mary with child and of course Trump was born under a lunar eclipse and as you can see she's pregnant with child but it's the Antichrist that's what the Da Vinci Code was about it was really the Antichrist family so she is there under a lunar eclipse so of course Benjamin F. Long knew course as many now that's why I'm telling you all the world's a stage Israeli Supreme Court complete with all seeing eye at the top the Rothschild bankers put them there and there they are so Trump's gonna save the world that's what he's been selling he's gonna change the world after this incident, they do their reset. You might very well see um, forced vaccinations, collapsing of the dollar, martial law, tanks are already rolling. Best case scenario, he just comes out smelling like a rose as they fake a lot of stuff. Make everybody great again, make everybody rich. Whatever. It's all a setup. Everything's a setup. So let those with eyes to see and ears to hear. Uh, let them understand. In the movie The Devil's Advocate, it was filmed in Trump Tower. It, um, his penthouse was used in the movie The Devil's Advocate. Keanu Reeves sitting like Donald Trump, giving you the divine feminine hand signal. That God is a woman. Just like Ariana Grande did the song, God is a woman which is the mother goddess, Mary in the Catholic Church, and all the other, um, it's really all about Isis. So, that's what it's all about. A little cartoon of their world. No, Donald Trump sits like Keanu Reeves did. He always sits like that. That's the chalice. It's the upside down pyramid. In the movie The Devil's Advocate, they say Donald Trump was supposed to be here tonight, but he had a business engagement. So Donald Trump is the devil's advocate. This is all about their religion is the divine, divine feminine, the mother goddess, Isis. Venus, at my last video that I did, that I posted to YouTube and Facebook, I went over all this with you. There's the upside down pyramid, which is the feminine symbol of worship, the divine feminine. And Trump has the divine feminine upside down pyramid at Trump Tower. He is the little horn of Daniel 7. You have been warned. But 
only those with eyes to see and ears to hear are going to fully understand. God doesn't love everybody. He loves his sheep. They have taken over the pulpits a long, long time ago. And the seminaries and the teaching centers and all that. So I'm not hating on your preacher. I don't know if they're part of the deception or not. Most are. Some might not be. They just innocently fall into the false teaching. But if I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, they won't be able, because the truth will always prevail. So anyway, thank you all very much. Love you. And I'm always waiting on that knock at the door to be removed, framed, or maybe en route somewhere they just kill me, which would be a lot better than being framed, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Yeah, kill, right, me, on, you kill me on my way to Whole Foods. Right. <laughs> Remember, prayer is bowing to the will of the Lord. That's what prayer is. Hell is not eternal torment. It's a narrow way and few find it. The Broadway, that's why they name streets Broadway. They own and run everything around you and they always have. They have faked everything around you. And fake science is called scientism. Look it up. I can send you plenty of links that prove that their world has invented so much of that's why people go, well, I don't believe in the Bible, I believe in science. It's because, yeah. Anyway, the Lord loses not one of his sheep of the narrow way that few find. So, nobody's deceived until their death if uh, they're sheep. But it's a narrow way that few find. You have to remember that. All right, love you. And that's why the Bible says you must hate your mother, your father, or blah, 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 blah. Because if you can't worry about whether your parents were saved or not. You just can't. You have to take care of you. Um, your focus is on the Lord, not anything else. Not people. It's not pride. Family pride, national pride, my football team pride, my country pride, my neighborhood, my, my, my. No, it's all the death to self. That's the daily cross. That's the your blood baptism. So anyway, love you.